The name reads McMahon, but not Vince McMahon. I now own WCW. We heard those words once upon a time from Shane McMahon. Could we be hearing something similar in the near future with Shane McMahon linked with a real move to AEW? Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. And Tony Khan has broken the silence. He spoke about the sit-down arrangement that he and Shane McMahon had and he discussed the possibility of maybe Shane McMahon coming to AEW and while he didn't give anything away he did say that it was interesting times for AEW possibly alluding that something between AEW and Shane O'Mac is going to happen. Now I know a lot of people do not really like AEW on this channel. I do not really enjoy watching AEW. I don't like AEW. When AEW first came out, I wanted to like it because, hell, it's wrestling. WWE is the number one mainstream and pretty much after WWE you have nothing. I did enjoy TNA during the 2000s and maybe from 2010 to about 13, 14, but then TNA quickly fell off a map, it went downhill, and pretty much for the main part, you're stuck watching WWE. So AEW coming around for an alternative, I was excited. But after about six months, I realised, you know what, this company <laughs> isn't very good, and I think they've actually got worse since the first, I would say the first like year and a half of AEW was actually not too bad. I think they've got a lot worse since then. But anyway, if Shane McMahon came in, I'm not saying it would make AEW great. I'm not saying it would be a success. Hell, Shane McMahon could come in, it could totally flop. Shane McMahon could come in and a, a week later we could, nothing could change and we wouldn't care, right? It could be a bad idea. It, it could be a negative thing, okay? It might not work and it might do nothing good, it might not create any great TV or make the company better. But you can't deny that initial moment when Shane McMahon appears or when he signs a contract or whatnot, there's going to be hype. There's going to be enthusiasm. People are going to tune in. People are going to be intrigued to see a McMahon in AEW and whether they take advantage of that, whether they carry on that interest and investment that people would have, whether they can make the most of it and continue it and keep it going, that's another thing. But just think of Shane McMahon coming in, They're just the, all the different stories they could do. They could just have Shane McMahon be an authority figure, be a GM. They could have Shane McMahon trying to compete for the company, trying to, you know, take it away from Tony Khan. They could have Shane McMahon come in and maybe he buys Collision and Tony's got Dynamite and then you've got the two of them going head to head. Although Tony Khan does suck as a on-screen personality, so maybe he can just hire a pretend Khan and pretend as a member of his family. But you could do a lot of shit. You could even have Shane McMahon have the odd match if you dare, okay? It would just be great having McMahon versus Khan or Khan versus McMahon or just Tony Khan disappearing and Shane McMahon running the show and maybe we could get something similar. Maybe that could create the next star. That could maybe actually get somebody in AEW over if they had an Austin-like feud but with Shane McMahon instead of Finn. So, yeah, look, could it fail? Could it suck? Could it just be, you know, oh, Shane's there one week and then the next week it's forgotten about and nobody cares? Possibly. But it's definitely worth the risk. It's, it's definitely worth trying it. And if Tony Khan can convince Shane to come in, in my opinion, he's got to do it. But this is what Tony Khan said while talking about the incident and talking about the photo that was apparently leaked online. Tony Khan said, quote, As I understand, he's not doing anything with WWE. And I had a really nice visit with him. I heard from a lot of people that he was interested in talking and it had become, frankly, a big media story to the point where I was getting asked on the record questions about it and I answered them. Just like I'll answer you now. In advance of, I never had any... It's definitely worth trying it. And if Tony Khan can convince Shane to come in, in my opinion, he's got to do it. But this is what Tony Khan said while talking about the incident and talking about the photo that was apparently leaked online. Tony Khan said, quote, as I understand, he's not doing anything with WWE, and I had a really nice visit with him. I heard from a lot of people that he was interested in talking, and it had become, frankly, a big media story, to the point where I was getting asked on the record questions about it, and I answered them. 
Just like I'll answer you now, in advance of, I had never met him and my first conversation with him, there was a lot of buzz about this. I thought it would certainly be worth talking and I have a lot of respect for him. I had never met him, but he seemed like a really nice guy. I sat down with him, he was fantastic. I really enjoyed talking with him. He was a very smart person about wrestling and I thought he was a great guy. We have a lot of mutual friends and we both happened to be in Dallas. A mutual friend linked us up who's one of the bigger names in pro wrestling and that friend put us on a group chat. I had a really nice talk and I really enjoyed visiting with him. Clearly, there was a lot of interest in it. Somebody in the middle of talking at an airport conference room, somebody just bust in and took a photo. I think that's fine. I enjoyed the conversation and there's nothing wrong with a couple of people getting together and talking about wrestling. That's part of what makes wrestling so great. There's a lot to talk about and we're all fans. It's a big thing. It's, it's exciting. It was nice to talk to him. I don't know what's to come, but it's an exciting time for AEW. End of quote. Right, first thing I just want to pick there is he claims that they were having the the meeting in an airport conference room and somebody just busted in and took a photo. What a load of shape. I mean, this photo wasn't leaked. I mean, Tony Khan's turned around. He's posing for the photo. Who just... Who, what random person just busts in to a conference room when two very important people are having a meeting and they whip out their phone, they take a picture, then they leave. That doesn't happen. So I don't think Tony Khan's telling the truth there. I believe that he wanted this picture to be taken. I think he wanted to try and create a little bit of a, you know, a media uh, frenzy. I think he wanted people to be talking about this, try and generate clicks, try and generate, you know, some interest. So I do think that he wanted this to be leaked and it wasn't just some random person. Mercedes Monet actually said on Twitter that she was the one that took the photo. Whether that's true or not, we don't know. But he talks about Shane and saying that Shane is great and that Shane knows a lot about wrestling and that it's exciting times for AEW. So that to me tells you that Tony Khan is at least hinting that there's exciting things going on right now for AEW because Shane McMahon is possibly joining the company. Like, why else would he be saying that? Unless he's bullshitting, unless he's just trying to lead us in that direction. But he's in, essentially insinuating here that Shane McMahon and him had talks and it's an exciting time because of the talks and because of the meeting that he had with Shane McMahon. If there's going to be no follow-up for the meeting... If nothing else is going to happen, if he doesn't expect Shane McMahon to come to AEW or expect future talks with Shane McMahon, then why would the initial talk mean it's exciting times for AEW? If this was just a one-off talk, a one-off conversation, and it wasn't going anywhere, then there's nothing exciting about it because it's not leading to nothing. The fact that Tony Khan claims there's an like exciting time in AEW right now, that would tell you that he thinks something more is happening here and that Shane is going to potentially be in All Elite Wrestling sooner rather than later. Now, of course, he'd probably want us to believe this, but on the other side, it's like, why would you tease something if you don't think it's going to happen? Because in the end, all you're doing is letting everybody down. So while some people would say, nah, Tony Khan is just, just wants us to believe this, I think long term, that's that's like hurting. That's hurting yourself, hurting your company because you're getting people's expectations high and then you're just going to disappoint them. So while Shane McMahon being a AW, I think there's a chance. I think there is a real chance that Shane McMahon could be all elite sooner rather than later. Right now, I'm probably about 35, 65 and I'm um, in the favour of him, 65% him not becoming All Elite, but 35% is very high, and honestly, a few years ago, I don't think anybody would have gave Shane McMahon a 1% chance of going to AEW, but things have changed since then. McMahon is out, McMahon no longer, Fence is done with WWE, that pretty much put Shane <laughs> on the blacklist. He's not really getting back into the company at this point, if he wants to stay in wrestling, he's probably going to have to join AEW. That, that's probably Shane McMahon's, you know, only way to stay in wrestling. He's not some guy that's going to go and do indies. He's not going to travel and, and work all these little indie events. I believe if Shane McMahon wants to be in wrestling, he wants to be at the top. And he can't be at the top in WWE. So why not venture 
into the secondary promotion in America and try to do something in that. For me, it makes sense. And I would like to see it. It would be exciting. I mean, it's the only, it's one of the only things that would get AEW Dynamite over a million viewers. Bischoff says it will never reach a million again. That's very possible, but there is a few things that could. Let's be like, come on, you know that if The Rock joined AEW, it would get a million dynamite. If Brock Lesnar joined AEW dynamite, I believe it would get a million. If CM Punk went back just for the, the pure heat and the, <laughs> the animosity and the hatred that was there last time, it would get a million views. If John Cena decided I'm not retiring, fuck WWE, I'm going to AEW, it would get a million views. There's quite a, there's, there's a few things that could happen for AEW dynamite to get a million views, and Shane McMahon appearing as a member of All Elite Wrestling, that's certainly one of them, so yeah, I'd like to see it happen, uh, I mean, AEW sucks right now, Shane McMahon joining it certainly couldn't make it any worse, that's how I see it, so yeah guys, let me know what you think down below, uh, I don't know why anybody wouldn't want Shane in it, you could argue it's, it's ruining his legacy, but is it really? He, he seems to be done with WWE, and WWE don't seem to want Shane McMahon back, his father's already gone, it's a new era, and unfortunately, the new era in WWE it, it, it doesn't involve the McMahons. That McMahon name is pretty much done. So, yeah, I'd like to see him in AEW. Let me know what you guys think down below. And I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.